Scott Boda here with Steeda Autosports to talk to you the difference between slick tires and radial tires and what works best for your application, why you would choose to use it, and what's going to get your car down the quarter mile the quickest. So, a little bit about these tires. Here we have an old school slick wrapped around a uh, weld weight racing wheel. Then we have our Mickey Thompson tire with our billet specialty wheels right off of our world record breaking Steeda Silver Bullet. So what's the difference between the two? Which tire is going to be best for your car? Well, we'll start with the old school drag slick. What this is, is it's a bias ply tire. What that is, is basically an oversized balloon. It's going to give you maximum traction on all sorts of different services. It's very common with bracket racers. Bracket racers depend on their car to go A to B in the exact amount of time, every time. Hot track, cold track, you name it. So a slick is a very forgiving tire. But with a slick tire, it's not DOT approved. What that means is you can't run around town with your street car or your daily driver with a slick tire because it's not DOT compliant. The other thing is with a slick, you're going to tend to get that top end wobble. Anybody that's ever raced on a slick knows you typically run less air pressure in it. What that does is the car is going to be dancing going through the traps. It's not going to feel as stable. But like I said, for an all-round tire that's going to hook really well the track consistently, a slick tire is going to be hard to beat. Now the radial tire. Well, if a slick works so good, well, why do I want to run a drag radio? Well, through the years, we have learned that radial tire cars actually go faster. Well, how is that possible? Well, with a slick, you got a real soft sidewall. You run the less air pressure. Tire's going to be wrinkling when you launch the car. What that's doing is it's actually losing horsepower being transferred to the ground. So when that happens, you're actually going to slow down a little bit. With a radial, you have a much stiffer sidewall, typically a little bit more aggressive compound on it, but it's actually going to get you through the traps quicker. Now, it's going to be harder to hook because, like I said, it's not as forgiving as the slick. Most people that switch over to a radial tire, the first time they kind of struggle with it, it's going to take you a little bit. But once you get that suspension dialed in, it's going to go quicker down the track every time. And guess what? It's DOT legal. So you could drive your car to the track, make some hits, have a good time, don't need to change your tires, and drive it back home and still have a good DOT tire. Now, we prefer the Mickey Thompson tire. Why? Because it's exceptional performance. These things have been as fast as like five seconds on some of these door cars in the quarter mile, but it all got started about 15 years ago with Dwayne, Big Daddy Dwayne Guthridge up in Toms River, New Jersey. Bolted on a set of BF Goodrich drag radios on his black Fox notchback, and he went like 19s, and that was just completely unheard of. Like I said, we're going back like 15 years. Now, like I said, the fastest street cars in the world run this tire. How do we know that? Well, because right up the road at SGMP, Donald Long has the biggest street car race in the entire world. Um, and what you got out there is it's called Radials vs. the World is how it started off because he was so confident in these tires that Mickey Thompson puts out that he knew it could compete with the pro mods running the slicks. Well, the beauty of it is, is you've always got options here. So bracket racers, they love the slicks, very consistent. When you ultimately want to get the most out of your combination, you're looking for every mile an hour and every tenth of a second, nothing beats a drag radial. Now, there are multiple types of drag radial. The Mickey Thompson offers the best hooking, in my opinion. You also have Nitto tires. We're big fans of Nitto tires. They have a very good street drag radial. It's not going to give you the traction at the track as the Mickey Thompson, but you're going to be able to drive that thing all around town. You even get caught in the rain with them, and they still perform exceptionally well. So there's your quick breakdown of the difference between the two tires, what really is going to work best for your application. You can find both these options right at Steeda.com, as well as the wheels from Billet Specialties. If you like what you saw today, you like the content, click like, click subscribe, follow us on our YouTube channel, and remember everyone, Steeda, where speed matters.